Welcome to All My Art and Soul. I'm Michelle Holden, and this is Affirmation Art Journaling. What if you could shift your thoughts with a soulful art practice that uses both art journaling and positive affirmations? This intuitive practice allows for inner knowing, renewed inspiration, stillness, and peace. Come and join me every Thursday at 4 p.m. for an art practice that's good for the soul. Welcome to All My Art and Soul. I'm Michelle Holden, the artist behind this channel, and this is Affirmation Art Journaling number 10 for 2023. And as I said, this will be the last one for a little while. I'm just taking a little pause for these. Um, and just sticking to my Sunday uh, video once a week along with my Facebook channel, a Facebook group. So today's affirmation is, I will listen to that whisper of hope that says, you can do it, just keep going. And um, as you can see, I'm pointing to this very beautiful uh, naphtha red and it's it's like an orange it's an orange red it's very warm and I really don't need you don't need very much um, the parchment the titanium white transparent the yellow ochre and black so it's a very minimal palette and I love it and I don't know if I already showed you um, I wanted it to look similar. I wanted the same colors as that little 6x6. Six six. And I just sort of got everything ready, chose the neutral collages um, that are just sort of, you know, leftovers, recent ones that I'm liking lately. And I will be making a whole new big batch, um, as I've said before for my new, my, my series that I'm working on now. And that was charcoal pencil, and the first one was graphite. So now I'm just pouring over the more fluid um, gloss medium. And it does smudge it a little bit, and I like that, but I don't like it, well, I haven't experimented much for too much smudging, and I know that I will definitely like that effect on a much larger piece. So, I'm also sealing the edges. This is also a good uh, medium to seal edges. Um, if you're using tape and you want a really clean edge without any bleed going through. And it didn't need much drawing, as you can see. And I left sort of the top, uh, so if, you, if you're if you liking this, um, don't forget um, that I have, this will be 65, this must be my 66th affirmation art journal. These are just these videos. So there's quite a few, and you can re-watch them because of course we never make the same page twice unless you really want to. And um, you can just watch them, create along with me. There's many ways to utilize these videos. And as I said, I've, I'm going and working on projects now, tutorials, uh, workshops, all of that kind of, all of those wonderful things that are coming up. And I will be letting you know when they are ready. So I cannot wait. And notice how much warmer or more yellow uh, this parchment is compared to your, you know, your natural titaniums or uh, I even forget the names of the other ones because I haven't seen them uh, where I shop for art supplies. And I always put a little white just to really, really lighten that up. And I'm finding this uh, transparent white, you really need a lot more. So, still enjoying the color shaper. As you can see, you can just put a little on your edge 
and I'm finding larger and a small, which will dictate the size of the tools I use on my larger uh, canvases coming up. So now that I am back to my once a week, I will be taking the time to do all of the um, other important things like uploading the paintings that I finished that are titled, ready to go, ready for sale. I will be streamlining my website a little bit more and getting it nice and current to what, where I'm at now. And i um, really loving where I'm at now. Um, I do have about, I think there's 185, now there's 186 videos on my channel. And um, I'm very proud of my channel. And I am very, very thankful for all of you subscribers who come on regularly um, or when you can. You know, our lives are very busy. And I am listening to that whisper of hope. And it's not just hope. I'm listening to the whisper of the universe. And I am also making positive steps towards creating the art that I want to create and then showing people how I do it and how you can get started. This journey has been amazing coming all the way from a watercolor landscape painter to what I'm doing now. So pretty cool. Loving the transparent, and this is a little heavier, you see. It's more of a veil. This is the rice paper, I believe. And I know um, I can't wait to get my hands on a new bunch of just tissue paper. Getting the no bleed or the artist tissue paper here in Canada is a little tricky. I know it's easier in uh, Europe or Great Britain, um, if any of you um, have any other similar papers or material tips, please share them in the comments because we all love to share. And if you haven't already, uh, come on over to the Facebook group. And uh, I know I've been a little quiet there and I, and I, and I don't like to be. Um, but things have been so busy, and that's just one, one of the little reasons why I'm going back to one video per week and really delivering uh, new and uh, current, well, this is current because I'm doing it now, but new content. Changing it up, um, doing intros, live intros with me in front, of, of the video in front of the camera talking to you. Maybe we'll have a, a sit and have a coffee time. Who knows what I'll be coming up with, but I've got lots of things planned and I can't wait to share, as I've said. So looking at that little six by six square piece, I notice I had some beautiful neutral old book pages and I like the table of contents in these pages and uh, liking the font and I guess it's the dot 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 I guess it's the horizontal line soon who knows why and I love overlapping and just creating more of a transition from that piece of collage to the other surface around it and I'm starting to notice these little things now this one needed the butterfly because to me the butterfly means it is a symbol of transformation and I really feel that coming and I really wanted to uh, finish this little mini series of 10 with something something a little more obvious you know something a little more meaningful and I felt like doing it so I did and you, as you should too and sometimes we won't like them. Sometimes we, you know, never regret because everything is for a purpose. 
And notice I put it over that transparent um, with the, which was made with the jelly plate and raw umber. A wonderful dark value, earthy. And as you can see, as I glance over at my little six by six card, and this, this method really worked for me. Because of course I'm not gonna copy it. But what I'm doing is looking at it and as I'm a lot more aware as the sequence of, of layers, because I'm all about layers, and types of layers, I saw, you know, how I left some and the colors. And of course, this is a completely different composition. Uh, but just glancing over and seeing color mixes and um, but it not ending up the same was really fun. Rather than trying to invent something from scratch during, you know, using your intuitive process, which of course I am, and I will dive more into what is that all about? Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, and I don't think I've mentioned, and it is down in the comments below, I am at michelle.art.soul. So check me out there. And I will be creating more reels, uh, sneak peeks into the studio, um, stuff like this, really showing the process in action. So rather than just posts, so, I'm, so I've got a lot of work to do and I'm, uh, I can't wait, can't wait. So I'm loving this. Uh, this butterfly, I think it's an old encyclopedia. So if you are in any bookstores, if you have some used bookstores, and we do in our little town here, it is fabulous. And I never have enough time uh, to explore. Love it. And I'm always, you know, looking for specific things or, or books that have interesting black and white, interesting font, the cursive writing, French. I've got this beautiful book in French in French, but I'm saving that for, for something. I don't know yet, but I know I'm saving it. Now, looking back, you know, because hindsight again, <clears throat> I, I would have added a little more white there, made it more subtle. So now that I have it down and it's really not doing anything, I bring the bottom section add a little more ochre and the contrast is a little higher and the color closer to the area below. See how it now there's some movement and this is called gradation going from light to dark, dark to light, from one edge to the other and anything that can move the eye over and across and I like how the writing is still uh, visual there. And I hope you don't mind, I really felt like this one particular soundtrack, and it's called Hope. So thank you, the person who created this, and um, I'm, I'm just keeping it low in the background. Here comes the black, and this one really needed to be vertical. I love the spontaneous imperfect marks that this little piece of aluminum pipe makes. And of course I needed one down there because I like things in odd numbers. So now the eyes really moving up. Will it move across and down again? And I think it will. There's the word will. You can really see it. I will. I will listen to that whisper of hope that says, you can do it, just keep going. And there's a lot of days where we really need to say, you know what, those would have worked as well. As you can see, I was, oh, and I used the same dots in the other one. Um, maybe not in black because they're larger, 
maybe in a more subtle color and maybe a left the black just in the left with the butterfly there because it's a really nice vertical against the horizontal so keeping an eye on why do we like this what speaks to you in your own art what's working and it's usually those little subtle things So I hope you've enjoyed my little mini series for 2023 so far. Um, I cannot wait to have more time to just, as I've said in uh, last week's video, I'll leave the card, number nine, um, just having more time to explore the way I want to explore. And, and uh, if you didn't, to, if you're signed up to my email list, I just recently sent out a March newsletter. I will be sending out two a month and then hopefully increasing those as I have more time. And um, that one was all about being overwhelmed, crowded. I have a couple of images in, you know, from the renovations in my studio. The studio was packed, you couldn't move. And yet we had to hang out here during the day while they're working out in the kitchen. <laughs> I mean, not working out, working on it. <laughs> Ooh, renovating the kitchen. So it was quite an experience, but I think we handled it very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really liking those layers. So in the end, and sort of off camera, uh, I did realize that the white Posca marker would have been really cool with those horizontal lines going and weaving in and out of the shapes. So I did add those. So I'm really, they, they really added this lovely subtlety. So as you see, I was going to add it in the bottom and then I decided to not put it in the top and it's the most wonderful, what is this thing anyway? Nope. Just with my Brer with leftover paint again. Uh, I believe the same color, the naphtha red oxide, maybe a little more a brighter yellow. And um, so I tore off the end and realized, oh no, let's I need I need that shape back. So I just used similar paint scumbled it on with the brush light and overlapping trying to get this similar effect and it works so lots of transition a lot of movement so now with that vertical line of circles you've got this big shape on a different plane going from left to right inside this whatever you want to call it, portal. <laughs> anyway, that's what I refer to it as. Universe, time, who knows? It all comes. And I love the intuitive process for that reason. You just open yourself up and let it go. Let it happen. So I really like this one. This sitting was about 45 minutes. And um, if it was my other series, I'm starting to just do it in real time and do live narration. And I'm really enjoying that. Those were too many. And again, a lovely mixture of orange and pink, which I love this combination, especially with these neutrals. And I do believe this is the crispier, this is the tracing paper. Parchment tracing paper. So it's, it's pretty strong and yet transparent enough was going to go for a heavier 
Um, th this I used a piece on, there was three paintings. It might have been the Journey of Three, I believe, the Journey of Three paintings. So check that out. And uh, it's, it's like a burlap. And I love that texture. And burlap can come in in different size weaves and textures as well. Really rough, really fine. I'm sure linen would really be nice. And silk. Anything with a cool weave. I've used cheesecloth a lot, but it's pretty sticky and tacky. Um, and probably something to add near the, either near the end or right at the very beginning so it gets covered up with a lot of paint. So just putting diagonals there. Adding some Naples yellow, it's just a little brighter, a little more yellow, but not nearly as strong as a, you know, a, yellow, a Hansa yellow or anything like that. You can see just enough. And I'm liking how it's beside the white. It just adds that little punch. And of course, those smudge. I don't know why. Uh, it's permanent. It's supposed to be dry. Uh, maybe because it's on, the, on top of a layer of gloss gel. I'm not sure. So then I decide to just take that back a little bit. The contrast is a bit too much. So I'm matching it with the background layer. Notice, and I'm noticing too, with a lot of the artwork that's in the Facebook group, uh, and that's what I used to do. We just keep on putting stuff on there and it's so crowded and everything's vying for attention. It's like a crowded room. And we need to realize too that space and quiet is just as important as and another contrast with what you're trying to say. So there's the loud, there's quiet, there's a big conversation, small conversation. And coming near the end. So I'm just finishing up with my favorite, favorite finish. And it really, really needed it and looked, it just added this touch here. I have it right in front of me here. And without it, <clears throat> I just love the texture of the spontaneous splash of, of black is my favorite. Uh, of course, when there's other black around it. So, love that. Drying up everything so we don't have any smudging. And while I'm doing this, I'm deciding, will I put the text? And I did write the text um, under those dots on the lower right-hand side which really balances the circles. But I think what I will do is print it out with a font that's really cool in like strips, in like a sentence strips around the same size and paste those over my, because I don't know, it just it's just messy and eh, maybe I won't, uh, but I think it would look really cool. Oh, and you know what I forgot to add on this page? The gold, that would really be awesome. Uh, a few little dots right under the butterfly. Uh, the symbol for gold, you know. It's one of the highest elements. And, uh, you know, that's what we're transitioning. Transformation. And I like the edges because I Put that gloss medium along the edge and I just thought well why don't I finish it with a little more movement up vertical with my favorite lines 
And so I'd like to finish this little series with a, a big thank you to all of you subscribers. I hope you really enjoyed these um, affirmation art journaling pages. I know I love, I love them. And I, I continue my practice and I hope you do as well. And there's my print there going in. And I like to not put the whole thing in. Just, I will listen to that whisper of hope. Just something very simple. And as I was saying, if you are enjoying this series, don't forget there's lots of videos. So please like and subscribe and share. And I will see you regularly every Sunday. I'll see you in the next video.